Hey designer, are you trying to figure out whether you should do a template version website or a custom? Are you kind of not sure if you should do Canva? Well, if you haven't watched my video on Canva, 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 I suggest you go back and watch that video first to give you the ins and outs of Canva. And in that video, I talk about the differences um, the good and the bad regarding Canva when it comes to website designing. Now, I know some of you are like, I really want the Ashton Martin and I really want a custom website, but I just don't have the money for it. Like, I just literally don't have the money. I'm just starting out my business. I cannot afford the cost of a custom website. I completely understand as a new business owner, that can be a hard challenge to figure out. Now you're thinking, I kind of would like to do a template version, but I still don't have the money. What do I do? Do I go template? And if template, what template do I do? Well, my name is Stacey Schilling. I'm a visual design expert and I own and operate the company, Stacey Schilling Education Design Hub. And I'm here to help you understand what option you can do for your website if you have very little to no money. And if you're trying to decide if I want to go with a template route, what template website should I go with? or should I just not have a website and rely on Facebook? Well, I'm gonna give you some information. One of the things I would recommend is definitely having a Facebook presence because that will drive traffic to your website. You can use Facebook and run Facebook ads and through your uh, Facebook page or your group page for your business, that will drive traffic to your website. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to have a website presence. But on Facebook, you'll be able to connect with other people and share tips and tricks and things of what you can do to grow your business. And as you do that, and more and more people get comfortable know about you, they can click on the link in your About section and go and visit your website page to get more detailed information that's not included on your Facebook page. But I know some of you are very concerned about financial cost. And I know when you start a new business, unless you're getting into like a network marketing business, where the startup cost in a lot of those companies are like under $200. When you're starting a new business, startup costs can be very expensive. Now, when I opened my design studio, Schilling Design, about 20 plus years ago, it roughly cost me give or take about $8,000, and there's probably more money I spent to open that business. Now, that was like computer and printer and a scanner and the monitor, because I had the big G4 at the computer at the time, and then I moved up to a G5 on Apple. And then I also had to pay for all the software, so the Adobe Creative Suite, I had to pay for all of that. Paper that I needed, ink for the printer, supplies, you know, everything to set up my business cost me roughly around 8,000, which was a lot less because I didn't charge myself the money it cost me to design my logo, business card, stationary website, and the kit and caboodle. So it cost me. When you start a new business, it's costly. So I know a lot of you are like, I don't want to spend money on a, on a website, I want to use Canva, which is kind of a great solution, but it's really not. There's actually another website that you can actually use that won't really cost you any money. And what's better about this option is you can actually take credit card transactions through PayPal on it. And you're like, what? I'm like, yes. Unlike Canva, you cannot run any type of credit card processing um, on Canva. So if you want to sell a product or a service and you want to do, for instance, like a PayPal button, you can't run that on Canva. You just can't. It's, it's not a platform that does e-commerce capabilities. It's an online place to where you can show a presentation and a portfolio of something, but it's not the place where you want a website. You want to use a site like Google Sites and you're like, Google Sites? If you have a Gmail account, you are missing out on the free option in Google Sites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you where to find Google Sites in your Gmail account. I'm gonna actually show you my website for my other business, stacymakemeover.com, that is actually built on Google Sites. And I will show you how you can quickly use that software. So this will be a two-part video on how to use Google Site to actually build a website that is gonna cost you a fraction of the money that you are not able to afford on a template website or even more importantly, a custom website, but that will be a better option than Canva. So let's jump online 
we'll take a look at where we find Google Sites as well as my website, stacymakemeover.com. We'll take a look at that website so you have a better idea of what a Google Site actually looks like and we'll get started. Black screen over my emails. You do not need to know my personal email information. That is for me, not for you. But if you notice in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a picture of me and you'll see these three little, these little nine little dots in the corner up here. You're gonna click on this icon and it's gonna open up your Google apps. You'll see my picture again for account doc search. You're gonna wanna take your scroll bar and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna wanna hit more from Google, okay? When you click on more from Google, you're gonna open up a Google page that's gonna say helpful products for everyone, get product support and shop Google store. I want you to click on browse all products and I want you to continue scrolling down because you're gonna look for sites, which is an alphabetical order. So if you scroll down towards the bottom, you're gonna see the link that says sites and you're gonna click on that. But before I click on the site link, I actually am gonna flip over to my Chrome browser. I'm gonna show you my website that is called stacymakemeover.com so you can see what that site actually looks like. And then I will show you the inside of the Google site so you can kind of understand how to build a website using Google site for free. So we're gonna click right here on my doc and go to Google Chrome and you'll notice my website. So there's a couple things I wanna point out. You will have limitations in Google site. I will tell you that right now, but you'll notice up here, I've got an announcement banner. It says holiday makeup class classes start Sunday, December 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern time, sign up now. And it's just telling people to sign up for this holiday makeup class that I'm offering. I have the name of my business and then I have a large graphic here that has my logo and then various pictures of me in different makeup looks. There's also a search button uh, box. If I scroll down the page, you'll see another picture of me talking, talking about my makeup class that I'm going to be having. If we scroll down further on the page, it goes into a little bit more detail about the class, when it's gonna be and where. It also gives you the cost to sign up for the class as well as a buy now button. When you click that buy now button, it's actually gonna take you to PayPal where you will be able to purchase this class and join me live with a naked face where I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create this makeup look that I have here for your holiday parties. You'll notice down here I have more text and I have another link that says shop products. This will take you to my product company website to where if you wanna purchase any of the products that I use, you can click on that. And if you scroll down, you'll notice I have a couple videos that are hosted on YouTube. This was an interview that Christian Alva did with me about me and my business, stacymakemeover.com. And if you click on this, it will open and play right in the website, as well as a video that I did on a makeup look that I did inspired by my favorite fruits. If you scroll down, you will see my client testimonial. You will see another video link to how to take a great selfie. My tips, you can click on this link to message me, and then you can also play this video, which is also on my YouTube channel. As we scroll down the page, you'll see some information about me, a little background about where I was growing up and how I got to where I'm at today, as well as some of my makeup looks. An email to contact me, a private makeup class request button, and as well as a book a group makeup class option. You scroll back up to the top or you can just click up at one of these links and get my makeup tips and you will see more information about me, more pictures of me and my makeup looks, as well as videos that are on my YouTube channel that you can watch directly off my website to see how I created these makeup looks and click on any one of these links to make a purchase of products or you can click on holiday deals and when you click on holiday deals and scroll down, not only will you see some pictures about me, but you will see all our holiday deals that we had available for sale and how much they were. And then any deal that has a buy now button, you can click on that and it'll be directed to the website to where you can purchase those products. 
So now that you have an idea of what Stacy Make Me Over looks like right now, you can go into this website on your own and take a look at it for yourself. I'm gonna go back over to Google Sites so you can see how to create a website. So if you click on Sites, and you will see there's a couple website designs that I have going right now, but you can see that in Google, you have some templates available as well as a blank document. What's great is Google has decided to make it easy for you as a Gmail user that it allows you to choose from a pre-made gallery of videos um, of websites that you can choose to create your own website design. So stay tuned because part two, I'm gonna show you how you can use a couple of these templates to create your own website as well as how to create one from scratch so you can use Google as opposed to Canva. So if you want more information, you can always go to my website, stacyshilling.com, and stay tuned for part two, designer. Bye.